lot of color, a lot of layers. I wish I could be the artist that only drew rainbows and unicorns, right? Maybe that would be, and that would be okay because we would be in a different set of conditions, in a different society, but that's not the material reality, the spiritual reality that we live in. <laughs> we have met through work, and I remember uh, seeing the band that she liked on MySpace. <laughs> and thinking, wow, she's really cool. A lot of it had to do with like the arts, whether it was like music or this exhibit, and like that passion. So once we started going out, we were really teaching each other what we knew. And did that for like many years, or we kind of like skilled each other up. When we first started collaborating, it would be like, here's my apple, and here's your orange, and we put them next to each other, and then they make something else. They make a fruit salad, but you can still, it was very distinct still. And over the course of the years, I think we've become much more seamless. Dignidad Rebelde has given visibility and validation to an infinite amount of people around them. Knowing Chewy and Melanie and knowing their work and being at home in their work or almost gave me permission to be who I was and then explore who I was. One of the most powerful abilities that I have is to create. To create in a time when there's so much destructive energy out there. And then so you have an image. Ta-da! <laughs> and super simple. <laughs> but it's like one of those things that like if you don't know, um, it's like really amazing. <laughs> I think for us, it's really in the politics. And I think that for us, the way that we push the work forward is not about um, criticizing each other to put each other down or to try to dominate. It comes out of, for us, how do we, how do we make things uh, better and how do we push the politics and how do we make sure that in the end, what we're producing is, is really uh, in service to movement. Imagine all the thousands of posters hanging in some college student's dorm, you know, that's helping them get through finals because they're having a really tough time at school because their school is white. Or imagine, you know, someone, one of their posters hanging um, in an undocumented son's room and, you know, he's negotiating um, his parents, you know, being deported or not, you know. So it's almost like infinite, the amount of, of, of impact what it means to be a fully realized human being that contributes to other human beings in their community and to living like a meaningful life over here.